Hello and welcome to another video from Publishing Push. If you haven't done so already, please do make sure to like, subscribe, comment and click to turn notifications on so you get alerted for new videos that we create. It will all help to ensure we can assist even more authors to publish their books, promote their books and have a successful writing career. In today's video, I'm going to give you six tips for writing a strong blurb that is going to help you sell your book. You've now written your book and it's complete, but the next steps, the things you need to think about, the key elements that are going to help you get that book to sell beyond glowing reviews and an amazing book cover is going to be that back cover blurb, the text on the back of the book, that 150 or so words, they are what makes the difference between a customer picking up that book at, or you know leaving that book on the shelf and not clicking buy online. The first tip is to research your genre. So make sure that you understand the key elements of your genre. Have a look at other blurbs in a similar genre to yours. How are they structured? What are the key elements? and really make sure you understand and take items from really successful books and implement them into your own. So of course, don't copy the blurb, don't copy what they've written, you want to be different, but if you can look at the structure or see how they've worded things or maybe particular words they've used, which are key to that genre and getting people excited to you know, take that book home and buy it, then really do some strong research on your genre and other blurbs in your genre. Number two is make sure to avoid cliches. So if there's a particular turn of phrase or something we hear all the time in a genre, you know, let's take a thriller. How many times have you read a book blurb that says fast paced, you know? Yawn. We've heard it all before. We know a thriller is fast paced. So kind of try and avoid those, you know, turns of phrases, cliches, things that are just used over and over and over, you know, and it's just incredibly boring. It's not going to make the reader excited to take your book home. It doesn't demonstrate why your book is different from all the others that are available on the shelves. Number three is bang. <laughs> so make sure to start your blurb off with a bang. You know, the same as your first line in your book is incredibly important for capturing someone's attention. The same is true with your blurb. So that first line really makes sure to kick things off with a bang, you know, that people, whoa, okay, I've read that first line. What else is there? You know, I, I need to read the rest of this blurb because you need to think of, of this as your challenge is how do you get people to read that first line of the blurb? You know, to get them to read that first line, you've needed a, a really good cover, you've needed reviews. So now that you've got them there, they've picked up your book, they're looking at it online and they've read that first line. That needs to be incredibly, you know, captivating. So it holds their attention. You get them through the rest of the blurb. And then of course that gets them to actually go ahead and purchase the book. So kick things off with a bang. Spare the details is number four. So this is something we often see, we get sent these incredibly long, boring blurbs and they go on and on and on. And by the time I finish the blurb, I know what the book is about. So don't be one of those people. Don't go into too much detail, too much depth. You, the key here is to leave the reader, that potential reader wanting more. You know, they've just had a little snippet. You've just teased them enough for them to say, wow, I have to see, I have to buy this book. I have to know what's inside. Number five is to really zone in on what makes your book unique. Why is your book unique? Why is it different? What is the USP about your book that separates it from all these other books on the shelves? You know, all these other books that have been written. Your book is special. Your book is different. There is no other book like it. So really make sure to communicate that reason in your blurb. That is your opportunity to sell your book. Okay, and number six, our final point is to make sure to get a second opinion. So share your blurb with people. When authors work with us, it goes through a whole process. You know, project managers will see the blurb, members of staff see the blurb. And so we always give our feedback 
And that's a great way because authors not only will have had friends, family, colleagues, other writers, but then they go through our process and they also get that additional feedback on their blurb. You can do the same thing. So if you're you know, self-publishing solo and not using a self-publishing company like ourselves, you can find people and get feedback, but make sure to get second, you know, second opinion, third, fourth, fifth, sixth opinion on your blurb. Thanks again for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Do make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video with more tips and resources and ways to become a more successful author.